Hi everybody, it's Martin the Flicking Feathers again today, and I'm tying another foam dry. Uh, this is Amy's Ant, really nice kind of attractor, terrestrial hopper, whatever. Um, well worth having in your box. A few fish anyway, we, well, uh, the largest terrestrials are likely to be falling onto the water. As always, there will be a link to the social media and the Patreon page for anybody who wants to support the channel and be eligible for the giveaways um, in the description, along with a full materials list. Got my hook my vice. This is a TMC5263, but any your preferred long shank hopper terrestrial hook will do. Right, run on my thread, use a flat thread, this is just six so I'm just going to give that a, like a super glue when it's only a single layer of thread, and I'll run back over it, and then I'm going to take a really thin sliver of foam, Offer it on. I'll just, it's fine. Just tie that down. Just to increase the surface area, right? Um, I don't want it slipping. I don't want it spinning. And then. come back to the start of the bend and I'll take a piece of foam, this is just smaller than the hook gap, it just fits in and I'll catch that in a nice perpendicular straight wrap tie that in wrap in front and I'll come back over it again thread back to the, the eye of the hook. Now we'll come in with a bit more super glue. And I'll pull that down and I'll sort of squeeze it around the shank and I'll gather it in. And that binds everything and sticks everything, tie everything down nice and tight, nice and neat. And then you've got a nice solid base, you don't need to worry about the the foam spinning or anything, because if the foam spins the whole fly spins, um, and it just is terrible. Just taper this foam. the head so I don't have the long piece of foam sticking out in my way and then I'm going to take the back foam which is slightly wider so this one's like actually the full gap I'm just going to cut a little V notch at the back so I've got something like that make sure my thread's right back at the same tie in point We'll catch that in just slightly longer than the tan foam that's on the bottom. Three wraps is plenty. If you hold that. Then it's time for some rubber legs. Just using centipede legs, but use whatever you like. Just uh, take one length, cut it in half, fold it around the thread and catch it in. 
and on the far side I'll just slide it up so that they're both in the same wrapper thread again I'm just minimising the number of wraps that I'm using and if you look you can see it's positioned sort of in the space between the back foam and the underbody foam right, if you if it's up if it's up too high the, the legs will stick together and just stick straight out now to help splay them I'll pull all the legs back and take one wrap of thread in front and that actually helps to spread the legs a bit more and I can just lock that in front of the foam this can be a bit annoying so I'm just going to take a wee hair clip stick it there in the hope of controlling them um, Sometimes they still ping free, but now, I'm going to take a saddle hackle. Doesn't matter. You can use as big a hackle as you want because it's trimmed. Um, although it might actually be, you know, you might get one better if you've just got if you've got like a mid saddle and just use um, an undersized hackle, then you don't have to cut it. I'm going to take some crystal chenille. I'm tying that in basically the length of what the abdomen is going to be I just use that as my marker but it's about two thirds the length of the the body so just take that and touch and wraps you don't need to make it dense but you just need to make sure that you're covering everything right, no spaces You can see I just keep it on the card, um, find it easier, and then you don't waste any either. When I get to my thread, I come across the thread to lock that in, trim away the waste, then secure it. I take my hackle, wind it forward, quite tight turns. Um, don't over hackle this. Five's plenty. Again, catch in the waist, and then carefully, carefully trim away. Watch your legs. Trim the hackle off. Leave it longer than the chenille fibres. Um, when you're happy Miss loads. When you're happy and you've got a sort of wee bristly body, right, you're ready to continue. But I like it longer. Some people trim it flush, but if you do that, what's the point in putting the hackle on? Right, so free that up. I'll pull my foam tight and catch it in. Open wraps to the front just to get it secure in place. Tie that right up until the tie ends exactly level with the, f the tie end of the tan and then cover everything with thread so the under wing is a rainbow cr crystal flash and I've got five six strands here something like that I tie it in so it's just longer than the foam and I fold it back 
and that's my measure. Trim that off. Then the overwing is just some cow elk. You can use deer, you can use bleached elk, use whatever you like. Clean all the rubbish out of the, the butts. Give it a quick stack. And then, ready to measure it. I like this just to be slightly shorter than the crystal flash. So I'll take a measure. Pre-cut the butts. I'll tie it in. Now you don't even need to worry about these like, as far as tidying it up. Just run your thread over so there's nothing huge sticking up. And I'll take some dubbing. Uh, the original cost for Arizona synthetic, but any synthetic dubbing will do. Um, you don't need a huge amount, you're just covering this thorax area. Pull my foam back. Now, don't pull your foam too tight. Just let it sit relaxed, so you get a nice kind of bulbous head. A couple of wraps is plenty to hold it. I'll just come in at this stage and cut my point. My foam was already cut at a point anyway from the last fly, so it was quite nice. It just fell in nice in the length for me there and and then we're ready for the last pair of rubber legs same again just half a half a centipede leg per side and you hardly even need to trim them okay. Hold it across the thread. Just I want to keep my wraps to the minimum here because I don't want a flat thread spot at the thorax as much as I can avoid it. So I'm just running these under the thread, putting a bit of tension on to hold them, and then one wrap so they don't fall. And I just twist the legs, angle them so that I like the front legs to sort of angle down slightly. And then a wee bit of super glue. Three turns over it's and then a very quick hot finish. And there you go. If you think you need to trim the legs you can. Which um is just a wee bit. There you go, that's Amy's aunt. Reasonably involved little fly, but works really well. It's quite visible on rough water. Um it's good good hoppers, good if there's big flying ants. You know, well worth having in your box if you fish somewhere where these kind of terrestrials and that are, are fairly common. So hope that was useful, hope you enjoyed it. If it was, uh, please remember to subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up below, share the video, etc. Tight lines guys, bye.